Well, you know, I gathered the team up when we were done uh, with the game today. And um, although it was uh, not the most glorious win, uh, I was very proud of the way the team fought and uh, did some things today. There's no question that we've got to make strides and learn from exactly what happened uh, for them to be back in that football game at the end of the football game. But uh, I'm proud of this football team. I'm proud of the senior leadership. Uh, you saw Nathan Shieldhouse have an outstanding game, I think. It was, uh, as told to me, one of the best that he's had in his career. I thought the defense played extremely well in the first half. So we've got to continue to make strides when they're throwing the football. They're going to be doing those things to us. And, you know, I, I, I just think that this team, um, we still are very, very young. We had 27 players that had never traveled on Friday uh, that were with us out of, uh, out of the 64. So almost half of our team made their first night stay over. And uh, we are a young football team, so we're going to learn from it. Uh, but again, I cannot say enough for the leadership of what this football team is doing. Yes, left in your estimation, what, what happened in the fourth quarter? You know, again, I, I think they got back into the football game. They're you know, a good football team that's uh, done some things. That, uh, they've got a very good offense. Um, you know, we uh, gave up some big plays, and then we turned the football over. And you can't turn the football over in any game, regardless of who you're playing. And expect to, uh, you know, to be successful in a penalty, a delay a game that you cannot have when you're trying to run the clock out. Um, so little things like that, uh, you know, I don't know if it's a maturity uh, fault, but it's something that we've got to make sure that we don't have uh, this next week, and that's what we plan on doing. What's that? Your thought process in putting in Riley. Well, you know, I, uh, you know, again, as a, as a staff, we wanted to be able to play players, you know, Aaron Bailey got in the football game and uh, we felt Riley O'Toole was deserving of getting in the football game. Uh, this football team knew that he was going to play in this game, so it was just a matter of when and where. Uh, but, uh, you know, as I maybe mentioned on Friday, the kid was going to play in the game. And Riley, Riley O'Toole deserves to play in the game. He just made a couple of mistakes uh, that we've got to make sure we get correct. Was there any hesitation then at that point? Did you say, hey, maybe this is not decided yet? No. No, no, at all. no. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tell our team on Friday who's playing. Okay. And I'll have to say this, just because this is what we do. Our team knows who's gonna play on Saturday. Okay. So then, when we say it on Friday, those kids are gonna play for us. Now we had a couple of young players that we had told them maybe would play and maybe wouldn't play, but everybody knew going into Friday night when we go to have our uh, Friday night meal at the country club, who's gonna play in this football game. Talk about what you saw in there, Bailey. You know, I, well, I think uh, two plays, three plays uh, that he was in. But uh, you know, he's a he's a young man that we put that type of uh, offense in for him to be successful doing. And uh, you know, that's what coaches are expected to do, in my opinion, is try to play player, put players in games so that they can be successful. And uh, that's what we did with Aaron. We know that he can run that power. Uh, we know he's a freshman. You know that uh, he might not be reading the coverages as well as he should right now, only being with us for 29 days. But uh, you know that we, we know that he can play and help us. Talk about your kickoff return, something we haven't had for a long. Well, I'm ha I mean, Biangelo had a great return. They've been working extremely hard on this. They really gave us a different look. We were expecting the ball to go to our left. Uh, the ball more, more of the kickoffs today went to our right. Uh, because the whole season last year they kicked the ball to their left. Um, so the first two weren't as good as we had anticipated. Then they did kick one to our left, and it happened to be in D'Angelo's hand. He made a couple great, great moves, and we had a couple guys that made outstanding blocks on the backside to cut it up. He, he took the uh, kicker one on one, and next thing you know, he's something we haven't done. So why, why is it so much better? Uh, you know, I just, again, we're, we're, Working hard on making our special teams as good as our offense and our defense, and uh, you know the credit again goes. It's not scheme. I mean, it's still about blocking people, and the only people that are blocking people are players. So uh, you know, I think that uh, our players deserve the credit for returning kickoffs uh, for touchdowns. Should we expect this offense under Cuba to be this pass heavy, or just that's the way the game? Well, I, again, I, we want to run the football better. We want you know Josh and, and Dy to carry the football for us. And, uh, you know, we want to be a 50-50 football team. Uh, I think that when we look back at it, uh, maybe a little bit more power, uh, because I think the power was hitting at the end of the game. 
Uh, but uh, you know, our our responsibility is to make sure that Josh Ferguson and, and DY can carry that football and, and get it, give them some holes to, to run through. How much concern is there on the defensive side of the ball going forward? Uh, it's a W. You know, we're going to play it as if a W. If it was a W, we're going to learn from it. Got a lot of young guys out there playing, but uh, you know, we're going to take one one game at a time. And you know, this this team needs to learn how to win and and learn how to feel after a W. Uh, and that's what I told him in the locker room. Why hey, did, you why got, did, what, go ahead. Sorry, why did you decide to go for two and, and how flat are you that that turned out the way it did? That, that was in the game plan. That was going to be on our second. Correct, the guys are sitting in here kind of smiling, but everybody knew that uh, we were going to run that, uh, that, that fake today. And uh, it's something that I used to have to defend. Uh, the team called Boise State used to do that all the time. And uh, so it's uh, something that you have to defend and something that I know my man Russ can, can do it because he's an ex-quarterback. You got the ball back inside your 10 with less than two minutes left in the first half. I figured you'd run and you instead know, pedal to the metal. Was that hard for you to? No. Agree? No, we're here to win. We're here to score points. We're here to do what we need to do to be successful. Uh, you know, yeah, we might have uh, thought that we'd take a knee and run out the court. We ain't doing that anymore. We're, we're here to win football games, and we're going to let Coach Cuba call it, and he happened to. And he's got the league scored in a minute 12, something like that. So uh, I told him we got on the headsets to score. Let's talk about Nathan's game a little bit. What did he do well? Uh, Nathan, what did he do well today? I thought he did a tremendous job of reading defenses. I thought he did a tremendous job of putting our players in position. You know, this offense that Coach Cuba does is – uh, you know, you, you don't understand how much that the quarterbacks are involved in making things right and how much work they put in. I mean, you think that our coaches work 100 hours a week, so do these quarterbacks, and so do these, this football team. And Nathan did a great job of, of putting our team where the, our team needed to be to be successful. Coach, can you pinpoint what you saw wrong on the big plays that were given up on defense? Well, the first big play defensively was a, was a bad read by our safety. You know, it was a uh, little wheel route, delayed wheel route. Um, you know, they, they got us with uh, a couple of uh, screen type plays that we've got to keep better leverage defensively on the football. Um, and they hit us with the quarterback, little throwback, um, you know, staying home and, and uh, just doing maybe some things that maybe are over, trying to overdo things, um, you know, by, you know, running to the football. Make sure you're reading the keys and make sure you're doing your responsibility first before we're taking off and running to the football. Young mistakes. Some of your young guys, who else were you pleased with today? Um, hey, it's a W. I'm pleased with all of them. I mean, W's are hard to come by, and that's what I told this football team. We're going to cherish these W's. We're going to get ready for Cincinnati tomorrow evening. And uh, they're going to be back here. they got 115 treatments, and uh, they're going to get good and loose. And, and uh, we're going to go out there and make a couple corrections that we need to make. And then we get, better get ready for a good Bearcats team. So anybody that just stood out, I'm just proud of this football team and proud that they won. Tim, do you know how many true freshmen have played for you today or how many you plan to play? Uh, no, but I'd say a lot. No, we, we, had, uh, we, had, we had a lot of new faces out there, but that's going to be the, uh, the face of this program right now. And uh, we, have to have, uh, we have to have players fresh at the end of the football season. Uh, if we plan on contending in the Big Ten, uh, we can't have players playing 800 snaps and 900 snaps a season. Uh, this is college football. So uh, we're going to have our freshmen in there. and They've got to earn it. There's no question about that. But they're going to they're gonna play, and they're going to help this team win. Yeah, I'm mostly cramped up. And, and again, it's teaching players you know, uh, how to hydrate through the week. How to, I mean, it's everything. We're teaching everything. But, uh, you know, we can't have people cramping up. We, we just can't. And that's my opinion. We've got to stay fresh. And I know that uh, uh, JB and, and Josh uh, took a, a IV at halftime, but heck, they're flying around in the second half. We have got to maintain the smarts about being football conscious. You know, that's all we deal. Coach, going into next week, how do you prepare a young team to play against a team that already has 
a, a win against a Big Ten team today. I, I hadn't heard. I was just uh, talking on the radio, and somebody brought up that they had a good game, so I figured that they probably played pretty good. I think it was 42-7 to seven on well, the final. Well, that's good for them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I know that what Cincinnati's about have been in that state. Uh, you know, I uh, you know, know that they've always had great tradition there, and they've won a lot of football games here of late. They uh, played for a championship, I believe, last year in their conference. Uh, so we know that uh, it'll be a test, but I'm, I know this team's willing, and uh, we'll be fired up tomorrow evening after we, uh, you know, uh, watch this film and, and make our corrections to play a very, very good Cincinnati team. So do you think you got on interference towards the end? You just could address that, that. Well, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all were pointing at me, saying, hey, "Back again." He got in the way. I was trying to be back the whole time. I think you know uh, what happened was uh, coach. Coach Banks called called the defense, and you know we saw it coming out of the back door, and just coaching football. And, you know, I, in all honesty, I thought it was a little bit over uh, called, but for some reason they have it in for Penn State now. Do you think you found uh, your two receiver in Ryan today? I thought Ryan played outstanding, uh, and I know that what eats him up, knowing Ryan, what eats him up is the one that he didn't capture to have another one, but. I thought that you know his maturity and how he's played in the last ten months has proven to his football team that he can make plays for us. You talk about your offensive line.